Hey guys, now we're talking about structs. Let's jump in. So let's define a struct person, which is going to have a name, which is gonna be string, and it's gonna have age, which is gonna be an int. Save that. A struct is a grouping of fields, like an object would be in JavaScript. If you wanna define a struct, let's say var Gabriel is a person, and then let's print. Don't worry about printf and formatting yet. We'll talk about them later. So let's run this and you'll see that Gabriel is not null. Okay, this is not nil. It has an actual person in there with an empty string for a name and age zero. When you declare a person like this, Go will create that person in memory. I can just do Gabriel.age and give it 30 and this should work. Now, another thing you could do, of course, if you could say Gabriel is, I'm gonna def declare and assign a person like this. And I'm creating here a person literal. So pretty much like you create a object literal in JavaScript where you pass in a name and age. Well, here you put the, the keyword first. Here you put the name of the struct first. And then you open and you say name, Gabriel, age, 30. If you're gonna be passing in order the field, the values, you can just drop this. So these two are equivalent. Or maybe you just wanna pass the age. In that case, you would do age 30. Okay, let's pass in the name and print that. All right, that's a struct. It's kind of like an object. Now, a struct can also have methods. So let's create a real dot say name, and this is going to shout your, his name. And the way to do this is, remember when we created a function, we say func and the name of the function and then the arguments and then what it returned. Let's say that say name is going to return a string. Okay, what you have to do to make this a method of the person struct is between the func keyword and before the name, you put the receiver. You say that this has a receiver, which is a person. Now this is going to be a part of the person struct. Notice that the error here has, has gone away. The problem though is that there's no concept of a this in Go. Okay, you can't do this name, is my name. So what you do is you say that I'm gonna access the receiver via the p variable. Name is my name, okay? So let's run this. All right, you see? So this is how you declare a method. Now, here I'm using a value receiver. Uh, I'm gonna explain the difference between value and pointer receivers when we talk about pointers, but you can also have a pointer receiver. Don't worry about this for now. I mean, we'll cover this when we talk about pointers. But all I wanna say is that if you have a, if you wanna mutate person in any way, you should use pointers here. Don't worry if it doesn't make sense. We're gonna say p dot h equals h. Because we're mutating the struct, we need a pointer receiver. This is a value receiver. This is a pointer receiver. We'll talk about them when we talk about pointers. For now, just know that your struct can have a grouping of fields. It can have methods like this. And you access the fields and the methods with dots, pretty much like JavaScript. All right, so that's all for structs. I hope you like it. I'll see you guys in the next one.